One way Cisco is reducing its carbon footprint in the Texas data center, too, is by using outside air economizers, or what's known as free cooling, to cool the data halls. In our new data center, we've introduced economizers. And what this does is it enables us to actually bring in fresh air from the outside when the ambient temperature is below 60 degrees. We have the ability to actually scale down our existing chillers to only what is required to provide the temperature inside the data center. We're standing at the entrance to the air handler room. These are air, this is a series of air handlers that supply air to the data hall and they, they do it in two different ways. In a normal cycle, they're tied into a chilled water system and the air is chilled and then blown out to the data hall itself. And on a cool day or on a day, specific days that we measure the temperature on the outside, the air handlers, the chillers are shut off and we suck in 100% outside air and that is actually pumped through the data hall and we cool our data hall with just normal outside air. Traditional air conditioning systems have been using uh, economizer systems for years. Um, you know, when the temperature's, you know, right outside, you know, 55 degrees, 65 degrees, depending on what, what, you, what you set your economizer, your, your dampers will open or close. We calculated that out of the, um, the total annual hours of, of, of operation, that will be on airside economizer approximately 50 to 60 percent of the time, either partial airside economizer or full airside economizer in the DC-2 project. A number of Cisco buildings around the world already use outside air economizers. What makes a turning point for Cisco in this free cooling application is its use in the data center, a first for Cisco and a major milestone for the company's goal of reducing its carbon footprint. The catalyst that makes this cooling approach viable is a joint decision by Cisco's IT and workplace resource groups to increase the operating temperature in Texas DC2's data halls. It's also important to note that we're, we're moving from 20 Celsius or about uh, 65, 68 degrees up to 78 degrees in the data center. Uh, so that's another area that we're moving forward with. Going forward, the temperature increases in Texas DC2's data halls will serve as a benchmark for Cisco's global data centers, multiplying the substantial energy savings the company will achieve through the use of free cooling.